Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Me, David the Beer Dad, back again to do another beer review. Going to do another uh, South Coney Creek um, brewery beer. I've already done two in, in the last sort of couple of months. I am the South Coney Creek um, Unicorn Trails and South Coney Creek The Bronco, which I think was a double lactose IPA. Uh, South Coney Creek is from uh, Cutstown in Pennsylvania, I think it's Pennsylvania, PA, I think it's Pennsylvania. I am, um, see what it says on the side here. So it goes, um, brewed and canned at the South Coney, uh, South Coney Creek Brewing Company, 15032 Cutstown Road, Cutstown, PA. So I'm sure that many of my American uh, subscribers will tell me, I'm pretty sure it's Pennsylvania. I am, um, I like these beers a lot. I think they're really, really good. They're good value. I am considering that input and why I get them they're imported in. They're a decent ABV and I think I think this is decent. I think this is they are very good. So this is what I'm gonna do anyway is a uh, Sarconi Creeks, a unicorn stomping lanternflies, New England style IPA. I um, I got this out of the Mighty Bartons in Ashton Makerfield. It cost me five quid. I am um, but again, it's been imported in. We've got a Candon date and we've got a best before. So, Candon is the 7th, 7th, 16th, 19th, so it's the 16th of July. I think that's birthday. Um, and the best before is July 2020. So there you go, you have a little look at that yourself. And then obviously the five quid price tag. It is 7.5% and it says so right there. It's a little bit hard to see. I don't want to kind of ram this right into the camera but it is there 7.5 just having a little bit of a problem focusing the unicorn trails was a beautiful beautiful drink um the bronco black double lactose ipa again was a beautiful thing um so let's pop this open and let's see what we've got this could be good could be bad let's soon find out It's got that New England style look about it. The sort of juice bomb appearance. I'll put the rest in in a moment. Um, beer in a glass, we've got ourselves a cloudy, hazy, orange colour beer. Uh, two fingers of bright white heads, as you can see. There's no floaters in that whatsoever. And the Unicorn Trails may have just had a, a couple of chunks in it. Feel free to go back, just put into your search on YouTube. Beer Dad, uh, Sarconi, uh, Creek, and the two of them come up top of the shop. Um, that looks amazing. There is a little bit of carbonation just clinging to the glass and it is just streaming up. You just pick it up. It's just getting this sort of round here. That looks decent. So let's get the old nose on it. Let's see what we can smell. Oh, that smells lovely. That smells very good. Grapefruit, orange peel, lemons, all the, all the citrus fruits basically. It's a, it smells like a really good standard New England IPA, everything you want. Chunky fruit, chunky citrus fruit, peel, zest, pith. A whole lot, right? Let's go for the body and the carb. Okay, light to medium body. There is oats in this, so it says on the side on the ingredients we've got ingredients water, malted barley, malted wheat, oats, hops, yeast, and then imported, obviously. Um, it's light to medium bodied. It's a little bit velvety. Um, carbonation is just soft and um, soft and just well rounded. It just kind of just, just pops delicately, pops on your tongue, and then away you the way you go. So let's go for the big gobble. Seven point five percent straight away is super well hidden. 
I mean, I'm really well hidden. This drinks like a like a four and a half, five percent beer. It's it's that well hidden. I will say the flavours are a little bit subdued. The aromas are really nice, but you don't can it doesn't transfer into the beer. There's a nice slight bitter finish. And I was I was expecting a little bit more, if I'm being honest with you. A little bit more punch to it. Right, here we go. Chunks in that. Oh, there's big chunks in that. Have a little look. You can see them starting to gather. There you go. There they are. I knew there was chunks in them. So, let's go again. <sighs> You're getting the fruit. You're getting the, the, the New England IPA. You're getting... Oh, there's a great big whack of grapefruit there. That was really interesting. Right, so that was, so it, it, I say, subtle flavours, oranges, lemon, grapefruit, and it kind of, it kind of goes a little bit sweet, but then this, I just then got this massive burst of grapefruit, and then I'm left with a grapefruit peel, grapefruit zest, grapefruit juice, dryness, oh, excuse me, on the end of my tongue. That's great. It's really nice. But that kind of just goes along quite subtly, and that burst was, I wasn't expecting that, to be fair. It is just all. It's, it, it doesn't the the, the flavour the, the flavours are there. I don't think they're balanced well. I don't think they're balanced enough. I don't think the, 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 the stepping forward. You don't get any kind of. There's no malt to it at all, obviously. I am, um, but all what you want from a New England IPA, grapefruit, oranges, blah de, blah de, blah de, blah de, blah. It's just held back, and I don't know how I got why I got that sudden burst of grapefruit. Um, this is a dangerous beer. This is one of these ones that if you didn't know, if someone was to pour this and give it to you, you wouldn't know it was a seven point five percent beer. Um, and it'll take the legs out of you from underneath you really quickly, especially after one or two, well, two or three. Um, it's subtle. <sighs> but do I like it? You need to judge out on this one. I think I might have to get get another one and give it another crack. <sighs> like I say, subtle flavours, but 7.5. I've had weaker beers that taste stronger. I've also had stronger beers that taste weaker. It's an interesting one this one because now I've got again I've got another pop of grapefruit I've got another pop of orange and I've got I finished the beer and the flavours are coming through it's like as I've got further down the glass the flavours have started to started to come out and that could just be the way I've drank it I don't know I don't know so let's wrap this review up so South Cody Creek independently brewed unicorn stomping uh, Latin flies. Do I like it? You know what? I do like it. Is it worth five quid? Probably not. But it's imported. Seven point five percent beer. You just don't know. <clears throat> it's a seven point five percent beer. Like I say earlier on, it will knock you if you just you were just giving it. It would two or three. Would yeah. Probably send you a little bit bandy. I um, do I like it. You know what I do. I do like it. Um, Whether I buy it again, I'm going to buy it again, and I'm going to sort of do this drink it off the review um, and just do it as a, as a kind of sit back and just enjoy the beer um, would I recommend this to friends yes I would I recommend this to friends this is it, yeah I know a few people who would quite like this like I say the, the subtlety to it could some, could some of my friends could find it interesting so there you go Sal Coney's unicorn stomping fight stomping fight the lantern flies if you've had it, let me know what you think about it. Put a comment below. Link to the South Coney Creek website is also going to be below. If you get a chance to go to the Mighty Bartons and Aston Makefield, they've got this on and they've got Hop Suplex. I think it is the 10 percenter, and they want five pound fifty for it. Got one of them over there. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Um, 
what I've probably got today. So there you go. So thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you don't like the video. Subscribe down in that bottom corner there. And I will see you on the next one. Hail Yale.